Looks like GTA. Greek Theft Auto. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator, and welcome to a Dayton Dissects of Apotheon. It is a game that will be released February 3rd on Steam, which means I am reviewing it a day early. Lucky me. It is developed by Alien Trap Games, and it shows a lot of potential. It has uh, survival elements, as well as some, you know, platforming and action elements. And they're all meshed in really well together. The gist of the story is that uh, Apollo has abandoned Greece, and so <clears throat> you are a Greek warrior named Nicandrios, and you go to destroy the gods that have sided with uh, Zeus by Hera's request, who is the mother and wife of Zeus. Oh my god. Look at that thing! Great chance to show the combat. It gets some awesome shield action. And I just broke my weapon. She might break my shield. That's a big lady. Oh no! The combat isn't perfect. There are some weird moments uh, in the middle like that, but overall it it's really cool, and I think the durability and stuff on the weapons is super great as well. So, some of the gods who have sided with uh, Zeus are Artemis, the god of the hunt, and I believe we're in her domain right now. Um, we've also got Poseidon, who is a brother of Zeus, and Hades is a brother of Zeus as well. Artemis is actually a daughter of Zeus, and then you also fight Apollo and Dionysus. I'm not going to make any jokes about how they can clench onto the ledges with their butt, but I think it is funny as hell. I really enjoy the aesthetic. They kind of kept with the Greek art style. Uh, most of the songs are pretty good. I don't like the main song in the Agora, which is the place you start out in initially. Water. More water! Sun disc. A brilliant shield. Oh yeah. So, you can switch out to a torch with Q, but now I have the sun disc, which will allow me to illuminate the dark, ow, and fall damage also. Pull up the crafting menu real quick. I can make uh, healing nectars, but I can also make Greek fire, which is basically just a pretty cool explosive. Alright, Greek fire! Greek fire! You burn! I have lots of different weapons as well. Assassin Dagger does a bunch of damage from behind. There are sneaking levels. You can stealth around. And even cool rolls. That's so awesome. Run! You get some nice speed going. Look at that. I really do enjoy the speed that the combat happens. At Ooh. Oh, no shield! No shield! No shield! So bad! No shield so bad! Break this! Okay. You are not allowed to have this. I don't know what I'm gonna do. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Uh. Hey! What are you doing? Uh-oh. You can't have that. Oh shit, get the shield breaker. Shield breaker! Oh my god! Oh! Now you don't have a shield either. How's that? Ugh! Oh my god. Wow. Okay. No! Dick! <laughs> Boom! Destructible environment. Wait, that's not destructible. This! That's destructible. <laughs> this is what I promised the people! Ah! Statue. And there you slouch. A sweaty, dirty creature in the shape of a god. Uncivilized, undeserving, unenlightened. Alone in the dark. Great voice acting. Where'd he go? Aw, oh, dick. <laughs> <laughs> you dare to touch the sun. I do. Call me Icarus, baby. Oh, it sucks. It sucks so horrible. No! Oh! <laughs> How did 
did this happen? <laughs> oh, thanks, Apollo. You're a real bro, bro. It's a pretty cool boss fight with the darkness effects and whatnot. Ugh. But pretty hard, also. Whoa. That's insane. When it's completely dark, it looks like a stone wall. That is so friggin' cool. I love the art direction on this. My god. Oh, fuck. He nailed me. Okay, we're fine. Oh, no. You're mine! Ugh. God of the sun. <laughs> Gifted to Apollo by the infant Hermes who crafted it from a tortoise shell, this is the first lyre. Its ethereal music has the power to command the light of the sun itself. Radiates a warm glow at all times, even in total darkness. Now we're back in the Agora, which has the music that I'm not particularly fond of. The only music that I'm not particularly fond of, I should point out. But, uh, there had to be one. And this is it. This is one of the stealth missions that I was talking about. You have to break the Satyr's wine. And you can combat them, but if they get a hit on on you, you're done. Which makes it pretty difficult. Unless you're super good. I am not. Doo doo. Doo doo. Do 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 That was nice. It's real nice. Do 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 yeah, get marked, stuck to the wall. Oh, that sucks for you. Oh. Yay, health! Lots of health. So we can be safe. Smash! 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 Health and armor and health and armor. How I do love health and armor. I all the one smashed. Which one of you did this? Uh oh. You better all kill each other. <laughs> oh satyrs. I cleanse the sanctuary. The game also has an extremely good sense of humor. I like how they say, find the bow, like I'm not about to go murder her in cold blood. Mm -hmm. Stand apart. You uh, have oh. broken the laws of Olympus. Oh, um, uh, fuck you. How's that? Ha ha! Lockpick, lockpick, lucky lucky lockpick. Oh, fart. No, 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 no. Not intruder. Just doing the thing. Damn it! Here! Get out of here! Oh. Okay. Armor breaking. Okay. Arrows for you. Arrows for you. Oh, fart. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh shit! Oh. No, not me, bros. Not me, bros. Oh shit! Oh, there's one. <laughs> Run! Leave me alone. No, you leave me alone. Away! Away! Oh my god. <laughs> They're so angry. Why are they mad? Why are you mad? Oh, let's go to Dionysus' house. Hey, Dionysus! Oh, K. 
can't travel when in combat. Well, we're gonna be in combat for a while. Oh my god, ow! Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Have to run! <laughs> It's like GTA, Greek Theft Auto. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's that's funnier to me than it should be. I'm sorry. Sorry to put you through that. Can I unlock this? I'll break this too. No, don't hurt me. Oh God, no. Okay. Oh yeah, everything went fine. Oh, returns melee damage to attackers. That's great. Oh shit! Oh no! Stab! Get the stabbing! Oh. Oh. oh no! No no no! You stab! No stop! Only stab! Pay the 20 coin fine. <laughs> How many lives have been lost for these 20 coins? Here you are. Very wise. We'll be watching you. Yeah, I'm sure you will. No, don't get me. I, I paid my 20 coins, bro. That's a cool jump. No! You stay away from me! Okay, need to recover health. Run! Ow. <laughs> That's not the way to recover health. I didn't do nothing, bro! Oh, look at that big thing. That's what I want to use. Hey, bro. I got a pokey thing. Bet! Bet! Oh, buddy. Can I, like, not die? That would be great. Oh, shit! <laughs> it's gonna go on for a while. So, friends, this has been Apotheon, a fantastic platformer with some great action elements. And I thank Alien Trap so much, not only for bringing us this game, but for bringing me a review copy. So, thank you guys so much. Text review will be up soon. I don't have a whole lot of cr constructive criticism for this game, aside from maybe fixing some hitboxes, and, uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> fixing some hitboxes and maybe the Agora music, but that's all personal taste, I guess. So, I will give this game a solid 8 out of 10. I really did enjoy it. And if, if it was tightened up, it could easily be a 10 out of 10 because it does teach you a little bit about Greek history um, in a fun way where you get to kill people and you don't have to take it in the butt. So that's nice. <laughs> Anyways, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been Apotheon and my one butt joke about the Greeks. So I hope you guys will join us next time. <laughs> Until then, friends. Bye-bye! One, two, three, four Goodbye, goodbye, see you again Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends